Welcome, my name is Oren and today we are going to speak about the FlexLM, FlexLM Publisher, Denial Error Code. So where do you, we find these error codes? Typically, most of them is in the uh, server, license server, debug log file, uh, which you should already be familiar with. Sometimes you will get it when you type commands in the command line interface. And this, uh, the system provides very detailed uh, error messages. So let's try to check one line I took from a real um, debug log files. This is ANSYS license uh, servers, server, and you see the hour. And that's the name of the vendor daemon. So uh, ANSYS, let me take a better pointer. OK, hour, and then ANSYS LMD is the vendor daemon of ANSYS. Uh, the message is a denial. So, and uh, the, the feature is ANSYS, and then it's user at machine, I changed it. Um, and then we get the error code, license number of users already reached. But this is the description. So let's take, check the actual error code. We see it here. It's minus four, and then uh, 342, and then 104. So let's see what, what, is, what is the purpose of each component. So uh, minus four is the major error code. And what's the description is license number of users already reached. So that's the most important error message of Flexilla. Um, 342 is the minor error code. And it, you can search the internet for it. You won't find because it's undocumented. Um, it's something that uh, the vendor we might uh, use when you co connect him for support and he might ask for it and he might be able to do something with it. We can't. And the last part is error code issued. This is 104. And this is the error code issued by the operating system. And as you can see, the description is also here connection reset uh, by peer in this case. So what are the error codes? There are so many, so I just took a few. So this is the one we spoke about. And then we have a minus 10, feature has expired. That, that happens many times. And minus 18 is license server system does not support this feature also. It happens many times when you have multiple server user connect. Ah, no, this feature that isn't supported. Oh, license server does not support this version. You're using a specific version of the software, and the license server doesn't support it. Uh, and last example I brought is user host is not included in, uh, in the include list for this feature. This is in case we are using option files, and um, maybe I, I'm not included in the list of people that can use it. So do you need to analyze and do everything by yourself? No, we have OpenLM. It's called um, alllicenseparser.com, OpenLM license parser. You can also see it in OpenLM website. And you just drop the log file, and it immediately analyzes the results. And you can get many, many. Uh, different reports and see the distribution of the different error messages. Thank you for joining today. Today we discussed uh, how do we read the error message issued by uh, the FlexLM license manager, typically in the debug log file. Thank you for joining today.